Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I'm your host, Pikminlover72, and today we're going to start it off by delving into the Deep Dark Galaxy. So let's get started. The Underground Ghost Ship. So we got ship, gate, and a beach. Now if you're looking for some starbits, this is a great place to come because the beach that you start off on has a lot of starbits. Good land vacation, uh, uh, I mean galactic survey duty, please be patient with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you got these guys, which give you three apiece. And also hurt if you run into them. There's also a blue one over here. And there's a whole bunch of these uh shell circles. And those always always give you uh eight solvits. You can break this for a coin. Uh, if you want that life. You just have to do a backflip, jump, spin thing like that. There's also one of these uh, invisible money bag guys. And stop running away. Hey, get back here. Hey. Get back here. I say, stop running away. Yeah, get back here. Come on. Ugh. This one can be tough to get if you haven't noticed. Stop going where the camera's going to start messing up. Usually, if you chase him through the water, he has to return, retreat. You know. Ah. There. Alright, now that, that much time has been wasted. I assume it's at least a minute. There's also this. Uh. Thing of Star Bits. If you go down here, there'll also be a uh, shell over here. And pick up the shell. There'll also be a uh, gray chest over here. And if you hit the shell into the chest, you will reveal another extra life. In case you need it. Alright. But now on to what we're actually supposed to be doing here. Which has to do with this cannon. Now, you can shoot at the Rainbow Star onto that planet. Or you can shoot onto this planet. Which, check it out, it looks just like the Gateway Galaxy. But it's obviously not because it's a much smaller. But, if you notice where the uh, tower used to be, it's now a screw. And unscrewing that will let the air out of this planet, like it's a giant balloon. We're willing to use so many coins. Look at all the pointless coins. See, that's 50 coins right there. So you can get another one up that way. And then this plant is gonna shrink, and shrink, and shrink, and then just disappear. And now you have like a billion of these things to take care of. So it's gonna be kinda hard to spin, and uh... Whoa! Whoa, no. Well, actually, this will work better. Because what uh you can also do is shoot straight to that planet if you don't care about a coin. Grab the rainbow star and then go on a octa killing rampage or whatever you think it was. Yes, look at all the star bits from my carnage. Now what we're 
supposed to come here for is to get that uh, fire, fire flower, gosh. Then, come back to the beach. Uh, go over to these two things and light them. And I just realized that I missed one of the uh, shell circles, so we're gonna go get that quickly because I I feel I must. I'm a completionist. So. Alright, when the gate's down. Oh, let's head in. We got a magic Uber. But what the main attraction is, is to go down here. And follow that arrow. Don't bother going all the way down, there's nothing of interest really. It's like an extra life if you kill an eel, but you don't need that. So you wanna flip the switch to open that gate. And then head up here. And somewhere along here, there it is, is a, another switch. Hit that one to open up that gate. And then avoid the giant uh, jellyfish as you come out of the water. And there's the ghost ship. And these boxes have the star bits. They're even more stubborn for your star bidding pleasure. Lots of some coin boxes. And up here there's even more star bits. Especially these plant things. And you can go down under the ship. And there will be a uh, question mark coin with a whole bunch of more star bits. Which you can keep swimming and collecting if the camera would cooperate, which usually doesn't in water. And there we go. So yeah, that's already 229 star bits in just one mission. So you can clearly get a lot of star bits here in the deep belt galaxy. Alright. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's move on to the actual part with a rematch with, I think, Camilla. Maybe. It looks the same way as before. She's gonna shoot some fire spells and she's gonna shoot a shell spell. Grab the shell. And throw it at her. And then she's going to appear on the ship to attack us, which isn't going to change anything. And throw the shell. And. Ow! Jerk. Uh, apparently, you can go that way. I was going to get before. Do it uh, the second time, and then she go up there and spawn some magic ubers. You can get a coin if you're stupid like me and get hit. Probably gonna take out the uh, magic of the first because they will make things more hectic, and then focus on Camilla. But instead of taking three hits, like most good bosses would, she actually takes four. But she doesn't spawn any more magic Ubers as far as I know. So that's good. Over 
there. One last hit, and she's down. And we got ourselves. And that took a lot longer than I expected it to. That's like ten and a half minutes. But oh well. Anyway, we got a star. And gotta go back for the second one. So let's get going. Bubble blast off. So this one's all about transportation by bubble. And to start off, our mole friend has taken over the central camp. I use the word friend loosely in that. So, just like a bit trained to do against this mole, I'm gonna slam him three times on his little cockpit. He'll get mad on the second one, increase his attack speed. But, he's no harder than he ever was. And that explodes, allowing us access to the cannon. And since I already did all the beat stuff in the last, Stall. There's no point in me showing it again. However, just because it's so fun, I'll go on another killing rampage against these octopus things. Whatever they're called. And once again, we're gonna get the uh, fire flower and go back to the beach. And this way, no point in burning those anymore. But do you want to burn that one? Or wait, okay, maybe you do have to burn these two. Dang it! I guess I. Forgot about that. The, the better land on there. Okay. We're good. That was silly. So you do have to bend those two that opened the gate before. Even though it doesn't look like you should have to. There we go. And with that, we'll spawn an ice flower. So now, head along the water. And then up these water plat ice platforms. And away we'll go. You can also go up here. Well, box with lots of stuff it's on it. And then to skip that area. And that will transform into some sling stars. And here's where the bubble transporting begins. So you just want to keep getting transported by bubbles. Going along the platform. Now this guy's gonna protect the ledge like a jerk. So I just recommend running past him. And then you wanna time that and land here. We have bouncing cheap cheeps. But don't think they're like the ones in Super Mario World where you can just kill them by running into them because they'll hurt you. As I just demonstrated. Even though they're out of water. 
they still hurt you. Anyway, you need to pound these to be um, wood planks to activate the bubble shooter. You stand in front of it, and you'll be launched here. Now, what we're supposed to do here is when the uh, balls in the middle come under you, you have to ground pound them. Like that. But you also have to dodge the uh, lasers at the same time, so it can get kind of tricky. But nothing too difficult, especially because they're pretty lenient with how close you have to be to the uh, balls to actually ground pound them. And stop moving away from me! You stupid ball. Nah! Got it this time. There we go. Doing that, we'll uh, make a giant watermelon and put the star out. So we got another star. Now, usually at like 16 and a half minutes, I wouldn't go for a third star, but I happen to know that the third star takes like maybe a minute. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then we're gonna end it up. All right. So, or well, we can do the Daredevil comment, which didn't appear here in my. That's weird. This didn't appear here in my last um, my practice recording until after the third star. But I feel like I'm prepared to do it. Go ship Daredevil run. Yeah, 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 we've already seen this before, and, how nice then they spawn us right next to it, so no time to waste here, let's take on Camilla again, alright, So this time, you just gotta be slightly more careful to avoid the spells. And there's not very really much to say because we've already done this. Now we already know she's going to go up there and then spawn some magic goopers. It's probably the most uh, dangerous part with all the magic mayhem. Oh, what? What? They. Ah, stupid magic goopers. It won't be the, uh. Camilla spell, it'll be, uh. The magic goopers spell. That'll probably kill you. Because hers are easy enough to dodge, but when you have like three spells going on at once, that's where it gets tough. Come on, this video's gone on long enough, and I still have no idea why that comment didn't decide to appear until later on my practice file. Oh, ah, my gosh. And my computer's going dark. Because it's like, hey man, you've been recording for too long. And I'm like, I know. But I have to finish this. And oh my. Mm. I'm getting impatient. But just calm down and focus. It's not difficult. Alright, so I'm clearly, I was, I was clearly over there. But right, then it spawned you, like, way back there. Oh, 
didn't even mean to hit her, but I'll take it. There we go, now we just get to focus on her as I almost run into a fireball. And can you spawn the green spell? That'd be great. Thank you. Come here, shell. 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 Uh, Ugh. Need to stop missing. Alright. Green spell. No, not the red spell. The green one. Ah, now she's spawning more magic ubers. Now the green, thank you. And now, hopefully, finally, there we go. Alright, so again, loses her stall scepter. And we're going to uh, end this rather long video off now. So uh, next time on Super Mario, Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be heading back to the Deep Dark Galaxy, finishing the uh, third star there, and then moving on to the next galaxy in the Garden Dome. Alright, see you guys then.